we're going to talk about how to connect your driver station to your control hub. Um, so, and this is very important because it's essential to your robot's functionality when you're doing this. So there are many steps to make sure you connect it as it should. So the first thing you have to do is click the power switch on your control hub till your light over there turns green. And in the meantime, you have to turn on your driver station and make sure it comes up to this. Um, so next, what we're going to do is in our driver station, there's be three dots at the top corner, and you're going to click on that and go to settings. So after you're in settings, there at the very top, there should be a button that should pair with robot controller. So you're going to click on that and then go to Wi-Fi settings. And then in Wi-Fi settings, um, in Wi-Fi settings, you should um, you should go to and you should go find your and you should find your uh, robot and it should start with something like rev or like um, FTC at the beginning. Here is ours and then the password. Then the password is usually just password. Click done, and then um, then you should and wait for it to connect. It says robot setup complete, and that's when you go back to the home page, and then you go back to your home page, and it said and it just say robot connected at the very top. Now that your robot is connected, you can configure a robot. This means you tell your robot where the sensors, motors, and other devices are located on the port of the robot. Um, so it'll give details like their port, um, the type of uh, device they are, and uh, their name. So the way you do this is you'll take the driver station, you'll click on three dots in the top corner, and you'll go to configure robot where you'll find an empty list. Click new at the top, which will take you to another list which is titled Control Hub Portal. Click on the Control Hub Portal. If there isn't an option there, you might need to press scan several times until that option appears. If it doesn't, check all your wired connections to make sure that everything is securely wired. The next menu will give you the option to, to select which device you want to configure. If you're using, using an expansion hub and a control hub, both will appear. Select which device you want to configure. This will take you to a long list containing the options, motors, servos, analog devices, and digital devices, and three IC2 buses. The process for configuring any device is basically the same, regardless of the type. We will take a DC motor as an example. Click on the motor menu, where there's a list of all of the ports in the hub. In this case, there's four. Find the port where the motor is connected to and then click the drop down to indicate what type of motor the device is. In this case, we'll be plugging it in into port 0. Next, we'll have to select the type, which is a Go Build a Motor. Finally, type in the name that we want it to have in the section. Let's call it Motor. This process is similar to almost every input, with the exception of the IC2 bus. For an IC2 bus sensor, such as the color slash distance sensor, you need to add a device to any given bus um, and then follow the previous steps. So for example, this is plugged into the zeroth bus. We'll go to the zero bus menu. We'll click add in the top corner and select color slash distance sensor as the option. We'll give this one the name color. To save this configuration, exit out of these menus by using done or the back button until it asks you to give you a name. Give this configuration a meaningful name, in this case we'll call it sample. Then press save. The robot should restart indicating a successful configuration. 